I wanted a new hammer with a wooden handle with a small head, and this is the smallest head they had, but it had a short fiberglass handle. I like a wood handle. So this is a cheap little Harbor Freight ball peen hammer. I'm gonna drill the drill the handle out of it, and I'm gonna fix the striking face, and I'm gonna fix the ball peen part of it. That looks like a bad toenail on an old man right there. So I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna remake that round and reshape right around here and right around there and hopefully make a pretty cool looking hammer. There you had it, finally got that baby out of there. Well, I'm back at it. I'm gonna turn a Harbor Freight hammerhead into a nice hammer. Just gonna knock the big bumps off before I put it in the lathe and do my grinding on it. I got one of the diamond bits and cut the rest of the epoxy out of the head that held the handle in. I got a little bit left in there I gotta get out. But I've just got a lot of work smoothing this thing up. So I think it looks pretty good once I'm finished. Alright, I've smoothed out all the lumps and everything. Got it kind of cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna go back to the lathe and reshape that old man's toenail that's supposed to be the ball peen part of it. Go ahead and trim up the hammer face. Okay, I've, I've chucked it back up in the lathe on the striking face end because it holds it better. The, the hammer had a hump on the top of it, and that hump, it, it would hold me, hold the hammer off of striking down in the corner of something that had a backside up on it. And sometimes I like to get up in something to, to hit it with the hammer. So that's why I'm grinding that off. Okay, I'm gonna smooth the faceplate, I mean the nameplate. I'm gonna smooth the nameplate down and blend it right into that on both sides. And I'm gonna work this flat up top.
Okay, after I ground the striking face and the ball peen part of it, after I ground it on the lathe, I tried to blend that a little bit and blend that. I just have some rough patches. I don't know if you can see them in the, in the video, but it's a little rough and uneven right there and right there. I'm gonna try and just blend all this. This is kind of vanity now because the striking faces are just fine. The thing about a, a hammer, if you're using this to finish metal with, when you hit this, when you hit the piece of metal with this, it transfers either the shiny or the dull. If this is dull, it transfers dull to the metal you're hitting. If it's shiny, it transfers shiny, at least to aluminum it does. And this is a fine sanding drum. I'm just take my time and knock all the rough out. And the way I got this to where I could see the rust is I put it on the buffing wheel and buffed it. And after you buff something, it really shows up when you got something rough or you dug in with the, with the coarser grind. So I'm just gonna go over it all with this wheel. Now it's time to cut out the wood for the handle. This is pecan wood. My shop is in uh, is in an area that's got a lot of old trees, pecan, oak, live oak, red oak, blue oak, pink oak, purple oak. And uh, I bought a sawmill years ago because I just saw that wood being picked up and split and thrown in fireplaces. But wood's wood, man. And after this stuff sits for a while, it's got a pretty good look to it. After I got my blank cut out, I, as you saw, I took an existing handle and the, the head that I'm going to put that handle, the handle I'm making now in, and drew me a rough picture of what I want to cut out. And this is just a rough cut before I start shaping it.
I went ahead and cut that off camera to make it fit because I had to grind and whittle on it. And you're just gonna figure that out for yourself. But the hole in the top of it's out of whack, so you gotta you gotta do a little custom work there. Now I'm gonna go back and start shaping the handle. of the head on this handle. Did a little bit of sanding on it. After it sets up, I'll trim it up and do the finals on it tomorrow. All right. You got it all shined up. It's come a long way from being that old crappy Harbor Freight hammer. Made the pecan handle. I'm fixing to put the finish on it. Well, I took a Harbor Freight hammer that wasn't really made that great. It, it was made all right, but it, it wasn't finished off and it didn't have the handle I wanted in it. So I made 
my uh, custom pecan handle off a piece of wood I got off the side of the road and I made it where it fits my hand. A lot of you might not like the way it looks, but it fits my hand and I don't think it's gonna turn in my hand when I get to really using it. Uh, if you like the video, punch like. If you really like it, subscribe. Thanks for watching.